Hi, I'm Rebecca with Silhouette. Welcome to Maker Studio. Today we'll be making some flower earrings with shrink plastic. This is an easy and inexpensive way to make a super cute accessory. So let's go ahead and get started. So to make these earrings, I used two design files from the Silhouette Design Store and put them together in Silhouette Studio. For each earring, you'll need two petal shapes and I cut these out using my Silhouette cutting machine. So to start, we're going to use a heat gun and a long skinny object. I'm using a Silhouette spatula tool. You could even use a pencil. And I'm gonna make sure that my petal is shiny side up. Um, there's a dull side and a shiny side to your shrink plastic sheets. So shiny side up, place your tool right in the center of the petal and then go ahead and use your heat tool to start heating up the petals. And they'll slowly start to curl in and just keep going until they stop moving. And then while they're still warm, you can kind of manipulate the petal shape to get it how you like. So we'll do that again for the second petal. Okay, so once both of your shapes are shrunk, you're ready to layer them together with your hot glue gun. Put a generous dot of hot glue to the center of one of your petals and gently layer the petals together. And just let them cool for a little bit. And then once it's cool, we're going to add more hot glue to the center and then cover it with these tiny micro beads. And you can just buy these at any craft store and they're gonna make our flower center. So again, I'm gonna open this up so we have it ready. Add a generous dot of hot glue right to the center. And then just shower over the little beads. Ooh, you might make a little bit of a mess. <laughs> and then just let the beads dry and adhere to the hot glue. And then you can kind of shake off the excess um, and get rid of any of the extra beads that are on your flower. Okay, so there you have it. And then we're gonna do that same thing again to make our second earring and then we'll add the hardware to the back. So once your two flower pieces are complete, we're going to glue on the hardware. So these are just gold earring posts and we're gonna start by using our hot glue gun to glue it on to the back of each earring. So just add a dab of glue and press that on. And we're actually gonna use super glue as well because I found when using metal with hot glue, it often will just pop off. So to avoid that from happening, we're going to let it cool first and then forcefully pop the back off and then use super glue to reinforce it. So once that's cool, we'll go ahead and do the second one while we're waiting. Just press it on. Okay, so we'll let that one cool. This one should be cool. And you should just be able to pop it right off. So then you have a smooth surface that you can apply your super glue. 
and you don't need too much, just like a thin layer. And then add the back right back on. And let that dry. And we'll do the same thing with this one. Just gently pop it right off. Add your super glue. and place the earring back right on top. Okay, so once those are cool, you can add your earring backs, which you can also just get at the craft store. And you've got your finished set of flower earrings. Okay, so now you're finished and you can make them in all sorts of different colors. We made pink, I'm wearing a light blue version. So just be creative and have fun with it. If you want the full tutorial, we have that on silhouette101.com. It's got step-by-step -step instructions that can take you all the way through and give it a try. If you make this project, share it, tag us in it. We'd love to see what you've made. So we will see you next time.